Okay, so we're gonna like try this vlog thing out again. Guys, I feel like I was super into YouTube and like making videos with my friends in high school um, 11 years ago. <laughs> And that was like before YouTube is like really, really like big in a thing. And I just like never stuck with it, but I've always been super into it. And I feel like I've always like taken videos and I've loved the editing process of it. And I've just like never committed a thousand percent. And I kick myself all the time because I'm like, you love this. Like you're so into it. And I don't know, my friends and I now we talk about it and like kind of laugh because we're like, you need we just need to do it like we talk about it all the time so this is me committing and doing it um so i need you to hold me accountable because yeah i am really good at like committing and then i just fall flat but we're going to do it <sighs> this is where we're starting so yeah we leave in a little over a week for miami and i said we're gonna vlog the trip so I wanted to like start vlogging, kind of doing like a weekly vlog, but I wanted to start vlogging on a more calm note versus like the chaos of Miami because it's a bachelorette party. You have no idea how it's gonna go. So I wanted to like get into practice and kind of get into a routine because this is something that I've always just like enjoyed and wanted to do. And I feel like I'm always like doing stuff on my phone and like taking videos and like trying to put some stuff together and yeah, so I was like, why not take it onto a bigger grand scheme of things? So here we are. But yeah, this is weekly vlog number one. And we're going to kind of go over like Miami prep. We're going to a wedding this weekend. So I figured I'd try to like vlog some stuff from that and kind of show you guys a little bit of like what I got for the trip and just like the prep that goes into that and just kind of like my everyday life. So Let's get into that. It's about four o'clock. Justin actually, I think, just pulled in. Yeah, he must have, because Winston's like all excited. He Is your dad home? Oh my gosh, he like loves to sit here. Oh, who's here? <sighs> Anyways, like I was saying, um, Justin just got home. So we are going to get him fitted for his tux. He's in my sister's wedding. He's the best man, him and Keith. Her fiance have been best friends since like elementary school so they're super close that's actually how sam and keith met um when Jess and i first started dating probably like six months in or something he and i kind of set sam and keith up that's a whole story for another time but anyways so he's the best man we have to go get him fitted for his tux for the wedding kind of get that taken care of and then we're going to a friend's wedding this weekend so i don't have to find a dress to wear. I like have stuff I could probably wear, but you know, typical girl, I just want to find something new and fresh and fun. So might try to find a dress um, for the wedding and um, him something to wear with me. Like, so we match really nicely, but hello. Hey man. Winnie, are you so excited your dad's home? Got a Krispy Kreme donut. No donuts for you. <laughs> He's just so happy you're here. I know. Happy to see you too, buddy. Oh, man's best friend. <laughs> yeah, because I'm about to take my chop. Um, <laughs> so, describe it to me again. It was the, cinematic. The whole, yeah, because the whole office was like the size of our kitchen. And I, like, I walk in and there's like a tiny like baby little water bowl. And I'm like, like, where's the dog? And I'm not shitting you from under this desk that's probably the size of this. And you see this little itty bitty head and he just like pokes out and it looked like that face that I sent you. Aww. I was just like. I'll have to show you guys the okay. photo he sent me of the dog. I sent it to your sister as a room. Oh, what'd she say? She said, let me know. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah. So my sister Mackenzie, um, somehow like when she was younger, we started calling her Rue. So <laughs> Justin's trying to talk the dog into wanting a dog. Anyways. Uh, they rescued a German Shepherd puppy. Her name's Scout. She's so cute. She wasn't really a puppy. She was like, I mean, she was seven months, seven ish months old, I think, when they found her. Um, but she's so sweet. She's so cute. So anytime we see a German Shepherd, we always send it to her. So that's funny that she said, let me know, because 
there's this dog that he was talking about um, that he sent me a photo of and is it that dog or is it another dog that's having puppies? It was that dog's mom. Oh, so she was a puppy of the dog that's gonna have a litter of puppies? Correct. Okay. They're having a second litter. And the dad, he told me, because it's like the dude's cousin or something. Him. Yeah. Um, he texted her while I was there. He told me the dad of yeah. his litter weighed 130 pounds. 130 pounds? Yeah, German Shepherd. That dog would knock me over. All, all black. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking tank. <laughs> Anyways, so they're gonna have puppies and Justin's trying to talk me into getting a second dog. He's like dying for a second dog. So bad. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> this person in front of us doesn't know how to drive. And I'm scared. Oh I'm scared yes. This is this is it. Oh, god. oh my god. Nothing chaps my ass more than when you miss a fucking light because it's something in. Hey, wait. Oh my god, there went my phone. Jesus. Hang on to your fucking purse. <laughs> yeah. I don't care about my purse. It's everything else I got. I don't know if this is going to work. On my phone. Or on my camera. I was trying to get us both in there. Might just have to buy one of those things that you can talk. Anyways, okay. Let's talk about the dog. I mean... We don't have to talk about, like, we both agree a German, right? Like, we're cool with that. Yeah. And. I mean, okay, so here's my thought process. I'm comfortable with a, like, I almost said style of dog, but I meant, like, type of dog. So I'm cool with, like, a German Shepherd or obviously another Golden Retriever. Nope. <laughs> he said no? Nope. Okay. Or what about like a cream golden? Nope. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. This isn't gonna work. I'll just have to hold it. Um. I'm not turning anymore. So. I know, but it's. Yes, you will be turning to pick it up here. So the only other one that I was thinking would be an Australian Shepherd, but um, I guess this, which we'll have to look her, look them up on Facebook, but. Yeah. Um, I guess they raised Australian Shepherds too at one point in time, and they said like they're so smart, like he they're too smart for their. Yeah, but he told me that like if you leave them like home alone, like they're so smart that they'll get bored and like they'll just find something to do, i.e., chewing up a couch or uh, yeah, whatever. Don't so I don't, I'm good on that. I mean, they're great dogs, but I don't trust that with because you know what would happen? We get one, and it would be our luck that it would be the smartest dog in the world, and it'd be polar opposite from Winston. So. Poor Winnie. They would be at both out, and the Australian Shepherd would start to like, like you know, like it would like waddle over to the couch or whatever they do, and like it would start like chewing it up, and then Winnie would be like, "Oh, that looks fun," and then Winnie would join in too, and then we'd just be out of a couch. What are we doing yeah, today? Yeah. So I'm not that Germans can't do that either, but the yeah. way he was making it sound is that Australian Shepherds are way more like prone to do that. Yeah. So I'm good on that. I'm good on that, just yeah. because. Yeah. Um, I like nice stuff. So this, I don't want so it to get ruined. I personally wanted an, an all black German. I just think they looked fucking fantastic. And this dog was all black, except it had little tan feet, like her legs, I guess. It was like halfway up her legs, oh. uh, which was perfect. I mean, it was a gorgeous looking puppy. And, yeah. Uh, and they said, he said there were like a thousand, which for German puppies, like that's really not that bad. Cause most, I feel like the ones that I've looked up, they were like 13, 14, 1500. So. Yeah. I mean, a good purebred golden retriever is like, that's what we paid for race back in the day, which back in the day, that was like probably even more money than it is now. But anyways. Yeah. So when you pay less than that, you get a dog like money. So it's sick. <laughs> yeah. Um, we but, love Winston, but he is just but so a um, color that I mean I don't think you really give a shit about color. So color that we want, I'll just say we like color that we want. This dog, this I mean I know it's a puppy, but it was sleeping the whole freaking time that I was in this place, and probably gets a lot of attention. Um, sure. Yeah, just a gorgeous dog. So I. They're gonna have the next litter, I think he said in the fall, or like in the middle of September sometime or something like that. Yeah. And like we don't have, you know, at least currently, we don't have anything planned for the fall. So like, 
that would be a perfect time to get a puppy. Yeah. Because we don't have anything going on, we can put all the time towards it. And then on top of that, like, you know, just judging off Winston and how he, like, grew up fast, or kind of grew up fast, I guess, but... Right. Um, getting this dog in the fall, it would also definitely be, like, at least 90%, I would hope it would be 90% potty trained, if not 100% potty trained by winter, so we wouldn't have to, like, really yeah. worry about, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like with Winston, when we got him, yeah. he was a puppy, and we had to go out in the snow. Yeah, so... And he was, like... So that's why I, dude, I'm like, I'm all in on it. Well, when we get to Fusion, we'll look at their Facebook page, but like, okay. I'm okay. fucking so, so in. So can we, I'm not like against the dog and idea think about, And think about how, how happy Winnie would be for getting a play oh my gosh. Yeah, I know, but what you're not thinking about. So here's, here's the things you're not thinking about is when we get a dog, a second dog, mind you. That's another dog that we have to find somebody to house or take care of when we go on any kind of trip that we're not taking dogs. I've already got a plan for that. Care to enlighten me? Well, I, unfortunately, as much as badly as I want a male, um, with how well behaved Scout is, shout out Mackenzie, um, <laughs> they, like I would be okay with getting a female. Plus this dog was a female and she was beautiful. So yeah. I would be okay with getting a female. With that being said, she's definitely getting fixed before we get some sort of awesome looking golden retriever German puppy magical breed. God, so could you imagine with that being puppies? said, oh, yeah, God. no, I'm good. I'd with that <laughs> with that being said, um, we could easily take this dog to like that whatever place you were looking at online. Oh, like a, yeah. a doggy hotel? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I wouldn't be too worried. So she could go there, and then Winnie could go to your mom's, and that would be fine. Yeah. So I don't, that would, it's not a big deal. But what about when we all go on vacation? Well, what would we do now with one dog? No, I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying like. I guess my point is, is whatever we figure out now, Yeah. like it would still be in like, you just effect. never want me to take a trip ever again, do you? I mean, we can. People figure it out with two dogs all the time. Okay. So you're telling me you want to spend a thousand dollars on a dog instead of a thousand dollars on it? You know what's funny is I knew you were going to ask that too, so <laughs> I have another answer to that. The other good thing is that's like in the fall and I hope to have something before then, but I don't know. So why don't you just be patient and sit there and don't worry about it. <laughs> Besides, you make fucking money too. You can buy the damn dog. I'm not the one who wants the dog. Okay. You would put one set of eyes on this dog. You'd be like, oh my God. I'm not saying I wouldn't want the dog like ever. I'm just saying like, why is this not in focus? Focus. Okay, there we go. I'm not saying that I wouldn't want the dog. Like, ever. I'm just saying you're the one who wants the dog, like, obsessively, like, right now. I... I just am thinking on a practical scale how practical getting a dog would be in our lives right now. That's all I'm thinking. Shit, yeah. Fuck you, damn it. Justin is all about finding the best parking spot. There we go. Like, close, even better, it's right in front of David's bridal. <laughs> oh shit, that's where it's at? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was on the other side. Oh my gosh. He was so pumped about that parking spot that you could park in. I can't see my back of the camera because your oh, sorry. thing's in the way. Well, maybe you should just be an OG driver and not oh, need that backup cam. Good, 2021, bro. So what did we land on in the dog conversation? Yes. Well, how about we'll revisit? Don't have time to revisit, bro. There's a line. You gotta get your ass in line. Why didn't you get in line in the beginning? Because I, you would cut my nuts off if I said, hey, by the way. Okay, I see, I'm the type where like, if you just came home with it, there wouldn't be any thinking to well, do. No it would just have it. You're telling me. 
Oh yeah, show them the picture. You Wait, no, show want... them the first one. I told you guys I was gonna show you the picture that he sent me of the puppy eyes. You wouldn't want that. Like how perfect that <laughs> German is. She's a cutie. So this thing could be a tank. I have no idea. To wait and see. That'd be perfect for Winnie though. Literally perfect. You're fucked though. You can never walk them I both. I could never walk nope. both dogs at the same time. You, nope. okay, you would have to commit to me like walking both dogs with me or without me like three miles every day. I would def, yes. I would definitely consider. Um, you heard it here. I have the receipts. I would definitely consider. Oh, that's, we already have the regular Dyson. Never mind. This adds a lot of hair, so we're gonna have to get. I know, and she's so cute, but oh my gosh, I would never be able to wear white. I can't wear black now because of Winnie and Cooper, because they just shed oh, all the Coop. white light hair. Coop's gonna shit his pants when he sees this. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. We gotta get yeah, out. Yeah, I gotta go. Can't see beyond this fucking twuck. <laughs> There's like a truck that's... Got any twucks in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Justin thinks he's a race car driver. No, I just know how to fucking drive. There's a difference. Oh, okay. Sorry. This son. This guy thinks he's a race car driver. Well, he's a widow. Got your widow Audi you and your widow widow back twail lights. <laughs> Just here. Kevin's here too. He is? Oh. It's literally like it was raining over there, and then we drive out across the street, and it's not raining. <laughs> it's the wildest uh, weather. Not parking. This lighting is so be good. Well, if we're not going anywhere over here, it doesn't make sense. Well, Tom, you agree. Okay, so just give a little backstory here. Every time we come to Easton, I like to park in the Macy's garage. And if you're familiar with Easton and Columbus, you'll know what I'm talking about. I have parked there forever, like since I was a kid, and I came here with my you parents. Fucking idiot! Someone pulled out in front of us. Um. Since I was a kid and we like would come here on the weekends with my parents, we've always parked in the Macy's garage. Always, always, always. So I just always park there. There's no like really good reason. That's just like where I always park. And it's not even really the main parking lot to the mall itself. Like the mall has like I would say, wouldn't you say like a main parking lot? Yeah, or, like, I mean, two? A couple, like It's like in the middle of like the main mall, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I don't know. Jess and I literally, we've been dating six years and we still somewhat argue about this to this day on where to park, so. Yeah, because I'm not parking in fucking Afghanistan <laughs> when I gotta go right here. This is not gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry. I just like to park there. Because, okay, most of the stores that I go to are right there. Oh, this girl's taking her picture. She looks so cute in her dress. But yeah, anyways, so it's like an ongoing argument for our entire relationship on where to park when we come to East. <laughs> so, that's my little backstory on that. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, Justin will literally drive around the parking lot, doesn't matter what parking lot we're parking at or parking in or whatever, he will drive around the parking lot 407 times to find the closest spot and it'll take longer for him to drive around to find a close spot than it will to just park in the further spot and walk. <laughs> and that drives me crazy. So, here we are. I really don't know. I'm trying to parallel park. Where are we going? J. Crew. 
Why did you park on this side? If There's we no to parking over there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? I don't remember what they looked like, but I remember you looking at them. Weren't they black? Yes. Like all black? Yes. Okay. I remember you wanting those. Did we just have just cut across the mountain? Yeah, I don't know why you walked down this way just to go that way. Korea smells so good. You want to go grab a table or what? <laughs> we just had sushi. I know you could eat again, but I'm full for the night. We could definitely get cheesecake though, because I have a gift card. Oh, you don't want cheesecake, but you'll go get a whole other meal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm somebody who will literally eat dessert all day, every day. I'll eat dessert before my meal, so I'm always game for dessert. It's never a question, it's always just a yes. Tell me what you got. Like, yeah. Not those. Not those either. These are the colors we're working with. We actually agreed on an outfit for once. Right now, can we walk in the car? Show us what you got. Well, give us a good tour. No. <laughs> got your socks and your shirt and your pants. Yep. And, my and shoes. the shoes. They probably won't have my size. I'm that. Oh, don't say that. Don't put that out there. Don't put it in the universe. It was fucking pouring, and the hammer lane was open, and this dude goes flying by on a Ducati. Wait, what's, what's the hammer lane? You know that extra lane they put in 670? It's divided with like a yellow line, and it wasn't open for like a year. Yeah, there's no traffic. That's called the hammer lane? Yeah, it's called the hammer lane. What? What's a hammer? What? I don't know what that means. That means fucking hammer it and pedal the metal, bro. Fuck, that's a fast lane. Is that actually what it is or just No, it? it's actually called the hammer lane. Are you messing with me? No, it's what it's called. Look it up. Fucking, you ever read a book before? Have you called? read a book before? Two. <laughs> what two books have you read? <laughs> the one about 670 and the one where you fall out of this car. I like Friends episodes. The one, you know? The one where Kate falls out of the car. Yeah. I'm not understanding though. I'm like not, I'm not normally this like no. gullible or stupid. But Absolutely like... fucking with you. It's not actually called the hammer lane. Me and Keith, me and Keith call it the hammer lane because that's where everyone fucking hauls ass. Better get the fuck out of the way because we're hammering it. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah. That's why I was like, is this a real thing? AK, the dude on the Ducati was hammering it because he's riding the pouring rain. So Justin found an outfit after two hours at the mall. And if you were paying attention earlier, and we talked about parking at Macy's. The fuck? <laughs> I'm talking. Talk louder. So if you remember <laughs> when we were. All right. Anyways. So annoying. So, every time we come to Easton, I always say to park at Macy's, if you were paying attention earlier, that's what I said. And so, I was being nice and said, you can park wherever you want. And we didn't park at Macy's, and we went to all these different stores to find the right outfit for the wedding this weekend. And what store did we find the outfit at? Not Macy's. Yes, Macy's. Damn it. After we drove across the mall, we literally left the mall to go across the street to Nordstrom Rack. Didn't find anything there, even though Justin was sure we'd find what he needed there. Hey, I wasn't wrong. There was a shitload of purple shirts there. <laughs> they just weren't your size. So we drove all the way back. Well, it sounds like it's that far. It's like two it's seconds. Far. No, it's not. Not even a mile. <laughs> Dude, I love it. It doesn't matter if, what time is it? 7.43. It literally doesn't matter if it's 7.43 or 1.43. That fucking Chick-fil-A <laughs> line is always wrapped, twice, always. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. You're right. That's something I think would be a good investment, God. is Chick-fil-A. They're literally, no matter what time of day it is, like you said, they're always packed. 
Always. Breakfast. Just franchise one. Like it could be. Are they franchises? Uh, yeah. Oh. It could be like one in the afternoon. Dude, be a fucking put your nuts to the floor and franchise a Chick Fil A and open it on Sunday. You want to talk about business? Screaming business. Wow. No, I think that's probably like in their franchise clause well, or like their contract. Badass or not? Like I don't know what you want me to say. You can't. That's like. You can do whatever the hell you want, really. I don't think you can. Eh, so oh my god, can. I thought that car was getting in our lane for a second. Anyways, long story short, <laughs> we found we everything that Justin needed. Oh my gosh. At Macy's, and if we would have just parked there and went in there first, we would have found it. So that's that. Do we? You, I would not be upset if you wanted to buy Molly Crew tickets when they're with uh, uh, Def Leppard. <laughs> They're a yeah, first go. energy. It's in July. No, it's in August. When? It's I think like the either the last weekend or the second last week. It's on a Saturday too. Yeah. I Big don't know. yikes. I don't know if I'd be able to get that week off. Or that time off. Because I obviously Sam and Keith's weddings on Sunday. Yeah, that would be my weekend off. We came home from Cleveland one time at midnight. We could do it again. Yeah, but we'd have to drive up there. I wouldn't be able to get Saturday off. I could get Sunday off. I wouldn't be able to get Saturday off. Well, we can look into it. You know what I mean? I mean, it is around the time we probably would be acquiring a adorable German Shepherd puppy, so I don't know if we would really want to do that. Yeah, probably not. So. See, if we got a puppy, we wouldn't be able to go do things anymore. I mean, now, that, wait a minute. No, that's not true. We wouldn't be able to do things for like two months. That's it. Is that damn What are we saying? Wasn't... We got Winston and... Yeah, literally... we left him in the cage for like six hours the very first night we had him. Poor guy. He's fine. That was your thing. Didn't we go to a hockey game? Yeah, I think we did actually now that I think about it. Yeah, here I am bitching about the fucking suite. Yeah, did we, we left... go to a hockey... What did Was it a concert do? or a hockey game? I, I think it was in the suite. I think you're right. Was that Fleetwood Mac? I don't remember the shirt. Seeger? I think it was Seeger. I feel. Man, it's really gonna bother me now. Fully We're grown. Still talking about the dog. Look at that. Show the, show the vlog. Dude. It's a cute dog. The thing's a <sighs> fucking beast. Alright, well. We are home from our shopping adventure and about to wind down. I put my comfy clothes on and we're gonna lay on the couch and probably watch some TV a little bit and unwind. It's like eight o'clock, so definitely that time of night. Look at Winston. Are you sad? Oh, look at you. You look happy. You look smiled for the camera. <laughs> Say goodnight vlog. <laughs> Good morning. It is Tuesday and I'm about to head to work, but I wanted to share the liquid collagen that I've been taking. Um, I take two tablespoons every day and if you follow me on instagram you've probably seen me talk about this um but yeah it's a liquid collagen it's supposed to it has so many different benefits but a lot of people have been seeing like hair growth benefits and like their skin's in a lot better spot which my overall texture of my skin i'm gonna take this before i spill it Anyways, my overall texture of my skin has been so much better. Um, a lot glowier too, like just an overall glow for me. I just woke up so I'm like really, you can hear it in my voice, like my gross raspy voice. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I can't stand too close, I don't have this high enough. Anyways, I'm like getting ready for work, so I'm trying to get my life together. 
was trying to find a to-go cup for coffee, but I think I'm gonna have to wash one because we haven't done the dishes and I just remembered I told us I would do them before I went to work, but I'm just gonna have to do them when I get home. Anyways, so I've been taking the liquid collagen for probably like two months now. And I mean, my hair is definitely growing. I don't know if it's like super drastic. I get it cut probably like every eight weeks. I used to get it cut every other time I went to get my hair done, but now I just like to make sure like my dead ends are all off and that it stays healthy and the thickness of it and it's day two today so it's a little slept on and like crazy. I just threw a couple curls in it really quick just to liven it up but um I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah so I would say like my overall health of hair, my overall health of skin feels a lot better. Uh, a lot of people say they didn't see results until like month three or four for their hair. Um, so I wouldn't say like I've had a ton of growth, but I've noticed like a drastic change, but I've definitely noticed like my overall hair feels a lot healthier and looks a lot healthier, but I've also been using the Dyson hair wrap dry and style my hair too so that can make a difference as well i think it's a little bit of everything but uh yeah so i will leave in the description box below a code that gets you ten dollars off this isn't like sponsored or anything it's just i get like credit towards buying my own stuff if you buy through my like link that i'll put below so it's not like I make money off of it necessarily. It's just like m money for me to spend <laughs> on my own collagen. So if I'm willing to talk about it to share with you guys to get more, to ideally spend more money, then I'd recommend it. I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, the collagen's great. I love it so far. I will keep you guys updated and I will put a little description or in the description box. I will put a code for you that gets you $10 off and there's a link and I think if you just use the link, it'll automatically apply the money off. So yeah, I take the, I think it's called Life. They have a pure, it's called pure. Um, I don't know the difference, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'd have to look it up. Maybe I'll look it up and like do a little um, sit down and talk about it for you. On all things collagen, I'm very distracted because I'm trying to like do this and not screw my coffee to creamer ratio. Also, this is the best creamer ever, Coffee Mate Creme Brulee. I, for years, was drinking the vanilla caramel, and then I think they were out of it, or I love, I love just Creme Brulee in general, so they might have just been, um, like, had that at the store, and I just was intrigued by it, but ever since I've tried it, oh my gosh, it's the best. And I'm a weirdo. I like to make sure my coffee's like really hot and I reheat it 85 times a day. You can't even see me. So I'm definitely that person. I gotta feed the dog. Are you hungry? I love taking this to work with me. It's like the Starbucks reusable cups because they, like I can reheat them. Whereas like I love my Yeti, but my Yeti's not ideal because 
I just go so long in between drinking my coffee so I can't reheat it in that. So I don't really like it. Um, but I like it for cold stuff for sure. Or if I'm like, no, I'm gonna be able to sit down and drink it. But if I'm taking it for like an eight hour shift at work, it's not ideal. I really have to leave soon. But if you can see, oh, of course, right as it gets dark, I wanna show you guys this tanner that I've been using. Okay, I don't know if you can see very well. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I put on a self tanner, like a gradual tanner, and I knew it was gonna like gradually tan, but oh my gosh, I literally put it on yesterday. Like yesterday morning, and then I showered this morning, which you don't have to shower it off necessarily. It's just like a lotion, but holy crap. I didn't put any on my hands because you're not supposed to. That's like, but can you see the difference? That is insane. So if you need a really good self-tanner, um, like a gradual, it's so good. I'll link it down below, but um, it's from Savans, Lux Unfiltered. Her number 32. Oh my gosh. Okay, super impressed. Definitely using that because I just put it on like as a lotion. It didn't transfer. I had white shorts on yesterday. I don't wonder if I can. I threw them on the floor because I'm an adult. I'm gonna try to turn this around. Whoops. That would have been a nice aesthetically pleasing photo. Like I wore these all day yesterday and you can't even tell. Like, most self-tanners get all over. And, I mean, it's hot outside. Like, it was humid, so, you know, your skin's melting, but no self-tanner. So, 10 out of 10 recommend. Hello. It is Wednesday, and I, as you can tell, showered, washed my hair today, did my makeup, um... Now I'm about to go make myself some coffee. <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet this morning, which is kind of out of character for me, but I just wanted to get up right away and get ready pretty much for the day. So that's what I did. Ooh. Went from very warm tones to very cool toned. Ugh. I always try to set this up on top of the coffee maker, but it's not very tall. As I was making coffee, I realized that I forgot to, and the cat is literally just laying on the counter. Perks of having a cat, they literally, wherever they lay, they lay. But I forgot to ice roll my face this morning. And I have makeup on, so I'm not going to do it now. You probably could, but this isn't in focus. It's like 10 a.m. So um, Justin makes coffee like before he goes to work and he goes to work at the same time every single day. So I always like reheat my coffee every single day. Actually, I feel like I just reheat my coffee all the time, all day, especially when I'm off. My hair is like naturally Super curly. If I just let it air dry, you can kind of see the curl already taking shape. But I am gonna blow dry my hair. 
curl it today. I decided it's kind of gloomy out, so it's not really like an ideal day. This coffee mug always is so. Like, for some reason, when I heat this specific one up, I don't know. It's like whatever the material's made out of, like on the mug. Cooper, you are a menace. Stop knocking stuff down. Can you get off the counter, please? Anyways, what I was saying is, I don't know what this is made out of, but the clay or whatever that it is, when I put it in the microwave, it makes the handle like super hot compared to the actual contents of the mug. I always have to grab a like tissue or something, paper towel. I'm scared to drink it. Yeah, it's like the mug's hotter than the actual contents. Okay, I look very tired, but that's all right. We're gonna make it work. <laughs> Let's go dry my hair. So on my like list of things to do today, I want to go through some of my like must do things and that's like edit photos that I have. Um, I want to do a little like try on haul or a reel or a TikTok or all the above for all the stuff that I have for Miami. And I'll probably do like a little haul on here as well. So I wanna do that. And then I'm a brand ambassador for Leander Boutique, which if you're local to Ohio, it's a boutique in Canal Winchester. And I do a lot of like the photography for their website and socials um, sometimes. So I've like made good friends with the girls there and the owner Amanda, she's amazing. Sorry, I'm like trying to figure out a good place to set up my camera. Probably have to get my tripod. But anyways, um, so I'm a brand ambassador for that and <clears throat> um, oh, this is not my right tripod. I am gonna go do some content and do a little shopping. So I'll take you guys along with that too. But first I'm gonna dry my hair. <laughs> Now that my hair is dried, I just used the, so I bought the Dyson Airwrap and if you follow me on Instagram, I talked a little bit about this, but I'm obsessed. This tool I like to use to get like the really nice like blowout, kind of smooth everything and like straighten it out, all that stuff. Um, and my hair is like growing so crazy. It's like nice and thick. Anyways, so I like to use this most of the time. This is like what I would say I'd probably blow dry my hair with every day. And then it has like all the tools, like you can curl your hair. Um, I'll just show you. So you can like do the true little like, true blowout. This is a smoothing and then this one's a little bit more of a, what's it called? I have the box for literally right here. Oh, so this is a soft smoothing brush and this is a firm smoothing brush. I don't really know what the difference is, but I use both. <laughs> I usually just use this one most of the time. And then you have your true blow dryer. This just dries like normal. <laughs> and then you have two sizes of barrels. So this is like the smaller one and this is the thicker one. And you get two of each of these. So one has the arrows going one way and then the other one has the arrows going the other way. 
and then same for this. So when you go to curl your hair, you can use these, which I'm trying to decide because I don't want to take like too much time curling my hair. Not that I'm in a hurry necessarily, but I don't know. I just might use my like actual curling iron because this, it takes a lot of practice. Um, and it's not hard to use, like, once you get the gist of it, but it definitely takes a little bit longer in, like, your curling routine when you're using it. So, sometimes when I'm, like, in a hurry, I just use my curling iron really quick. But I do really like this. It gives, like, really blowout, bouncy, like, big curls. And now that my hair is getting longer, they sell the, what's this called? The barrel. They sell longer ones, so you can buy like the individual like attachments for this and so I could buy like the longer in length ones, so since my hair is starting to get longer like it'll cater to that. So and I think it's like $40 for like the one size, so like if I bought this size that comes with two, it'd be $40 and then if you want like the skinnier, smaller barrel, um, that would be like a different one but it'd be forty dollars I'm pretty sure they're forty dollars when I looked them up but they were out of stock so I haven't bought them yet but forty dollars I mean when you spend that much on the Dyson forty dollars doesn't seem like a lot but anyways let's curl this nonsense So my car is not as cool as Justin's. I don't have a very good like dash to set my camera on. And I know they make those little like mounts, but I just, I don't know. I don't feel like they work as well as they should. So I don't want to like buy, like spend the money on them when I don't really like need it if it's not going to work. You know what I mean? So I have this little like spot on my dash that has this little thing that flips out and I can like set it on there so that's what I did but what I I think I mentioned this earlier I really don't remember now but I'm heading to Leander Boutique I am actually a brand ambassador for them and I think I did talk about this I do a lot of photography for the shop and the store um, some of the photos that they use for their website online and their social media um, and I've become really close with the owner Amanda and some of the girls that work there and I just love them like they're just like the sweetest souls in the world so um, happy to be working with them as a brand ambassador this month so that's really cool I'm driving there to do some shopping before my trip next week see if there's some good stuff I can take and then um, just kind of like show you guys the shop and everything so yeah drink my coffee and probably turn on some tunes and drive there in this gross rain it's like just started raining literally as I started driving Well, I just got to Canal, and it took me forever to find a parking spot. Normally, I can either park, like, right in front of the shop, there's, like, parking, or there's a public lot, like, on a different street that's, like, very close, but the lot is literally full. There's people parking, like, in the most jackass way, like, not even in spots, like, parking up on the edge, and I think it's because it's, like, lunchtime, and there's a restaurant right, like probably two doors down from the boutique. So I think everybody's just at lunch and because it's gross and raining, they all drove here instead of walking like they probably normally do. <sighs> but I found a spot on the side street, but it's like raining. So I'm gonna have to walk in the rain, which is fine because it's not downpouring, but I'm just like, dang, it literally, I had to drive around like three times. And this poor guy, they're doing construction like on the side street. This poor guy's probably like, this girl, why does she keep making her like a lap and a lap and a lap? <laughs> like, I'm just trying to find a spot. 
but I made it. I have to pee really bad. I have like the smallest bladder, so definitely gonna pee right when I get there. Love this. And some like. Just left Leander. I always love going in there because I just sit and talk to the girls forever. Amanda and Lauren, they're the best. But every time I come to Canal, I always go to Fantasy Cupcake. It's another like local business here. And I got some mini cupcakes um, for Justin and I. And then they have some of the best iced coffee. I love getting an iced coffee from them. And I just get a vanilla caramel latte. So good. I'm like, have to stop in there and get one every time I come here. But I got some goodies from Leander. So I will do a little baby haul. Um, I got some of the stuff that I tried on, which I did a couple videos of, as you saw. Or, I don't know, depending on where I put it into this video. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you exactly what I bought when I get home. My hair got ruined from the rain because I have naturally curly hair, so it just always gets a little frizzy when it rains. And in the summer, it's kind of humid, so do not look too bad here, but I feel like in person it's a little, a little fluffy. So now I'm going to head home and do some stuff at home that I need to do. Kind of cross some more things off of my to-do list, but it was nice to come and enjoy spending time with Lauren and Amanda for a couple hours and um, yeah, just like hang out, so. Just got to Ulta on my way home. I remembered that I'm out of dry shampoo, so I came to get that and might see if there's any other things I need for my trip next week. So yeah, let's see what we got. This is my life right now. <laughs> Just clothes everywhere. I'm trying to get my shit together. Ah. Okay, figured I'd do a little Ulta haul of the stuff I bought. Uh, I actually got a lot of stuff. Well, Maybe not a lot of stuff, but a lot of stuff because normally when I go in there, I get like two things. But anyways, I got a Tangler teasing brush, Tangle teaser hairbrush. It's just like a detangling brush for when my hair is wet. Um, I figured that'd be good to take to Miami <clears throat> because we're going to be like at the pool, at the beach, and it'll just be good to have a hairbrush on hand. And then I needed to get some like travel size shampoo, conditioner, just stuff like that. Um, I have like little, I want to say DIY um, cases, like not DIY, that's not the right word, but I have travel sized bottles that you can transfer like your big bottles into the small ones. I have those somewhere. I haven't needed them since we moved into the house, but I just don't know where they are. So in case I didn't find them, I got just some quick travel size um, conditioner and shampoo. This is like a little box set from um, Briogeo, Briogeo, something like that. Um, this is like their volumize and lift. So I figured that would just be good to have. So it comes with a shampoo, conditioner, and a volumizing spray. So I got that and then my Holy Grail dry shampoo. I just needed this. Probably won't actually take this on my trip in case I, I don't know. Usually I don't use much dry shampoo, but 
I'm out of this. So this is the Hask Charcoal Dry Shampoo. This is like my number one ride or die. I've literally been using it for four-ish years probably. Long enough that I don't even know. So if you've not tried it, it's great. And it's only like $8 maybe, $7. It's not super expensive. Um, next I got, oh sorry, I tried to pull it all out at the same time. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna knock everything over. Next I got was the the Ordinary. I bought three things from this brand. That's not the front of it. <laughs> um, I really like the stuff that I've used from them before. So I was out of some, some of my serums, so I got the niacinamide, if I'm saying that right, hopefully. Um, this is high strength vitamin mineral, vitamin and mineral blemish formula. Um, so I got that. And then I got the hyaluronic acid, which supports a hydration, a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. So this is really good for adding some hydration to your skin. And then I got the caffeine solution. This is really good. I've used this before. Um, it reduces appearance of eye contour pigmentation or puffiness, um, or I'm sorry, and of puffiness. I cannot talk today apparently, but yeah, so I got this. I use this like on my under eye before I go to sleep. I think you can, and sorry, segue. What I really like about this stuff, like this brand is it kind of gives you like a rundown of when to use it. Um, it'll tell you if like it's an AM or PM product, if it's both. So I really like that. I wish some brands do that, I guess, in the directions, but this one's really nice, especially like when you're shopping at the store, like at Ulta, it actually has like there to use AM or PM. And those are all some of their like most loved products. So definitely got that. Oh, my hair. Huh. Um, then I got my other ride or die. If you want a perfect, like the best drugstore, brow anything i have been using for probably over a year now the instant lift brow pencil from elf this is literally two dollars i don't think it's going to show you very well there it is two dollars and it gives you the little spoolie and then the color i go deep brown because i have pretty dark brows and then i get the wow brow which is a volumizing fiber gel amazing and this is like four dollars i think four to six dollars somewhere in that range but for less than ten dollars you can get an entire eyebrow set i guess you could say but i have it on today the ring kind of ruined my makeup a little bit but ride or die i love those i've repurchased many many times i really wish they would have had they were out of my mascara which is the l'oreal Paradise, I'm like blanking. Hold on, I'll go get it. And I'm back. Okay, so Ulta was out of the, oh, it's L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise. That's what it is. Um, the Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is like my, um, oh my gosh, it's not focusing, being one of those people, but there it is. Okay. I'm sure you've heard of this, used it, whatever, but this is my default mascara. I feel like I try so many different ones and then I just always revert back to this, but I've had this one for a while. It's just getting a little like, I mean, you know how mascara is just old and meh. So they were out of that at Ulta. So I'm probably gonna have to either make another trip before the trip or buy some when we're down there or Go to Target. I mean, it's a drugstore mascara. You can literally find it anywhere. I was just at Ulta, so wanted to see if I could find it, but they were out. So apparently everyone's buying it. Um, and then last thing I got is something that I've actually never tried before. And this is Morphe's Gleam Catcher Illuminator. Um, I bought it to use as like a highlighter because I don't really have like a good highlighter and I'm very into like the glowy dewy look which my makeup kind of the makeup I've been using automatically gives like more of a glowy look and it's summer so sweat 
but um, they had three different color options. <sighs> there was like, I was trying to think of the names of them. I got the, I would say like middle of the road color option. There was like Moonbeam, I think. This one's called First Light. And then the darker one was like, I really can't remember. But anyways, they had three different colors. This was like $14. So not super expensive, um, but not super cheap either. So I hope I like it. We'll see. I figured it'd be fun to like just throw on like my cheekbones or lack thereof or just like, you know, keep its own nose or whatever all that good stuff where you're supposed to highlight that's what I'm trying to say but yeah that's my little Ulta haul and then oh I can show you um I think I'm gonna do like a try on haul actually for all the stuff that I'm taking to Miami I'm trying to think because there's like a lot of stuff so I feel like I should do that in this vlog can you tell I'm like really pondering it Hmm, we'll see. Keep you posted. Stay tuned. Winnie. Inspecting the neighborhood. Are you excited to go on a walk? It's been rainy. We haven't been able to go on a walk, huh? finally not raining as you can see and when it doesn't rain and now that it's warm outside we like to take pretty much a nightly walk I'd say yeah yeah just about nightly um oh there's a car coming Perfect. we're walking on the road that way when he's not tempted to poop because we have to walk to the nope. little bag station what? to get more bags because he pooped right when we walked out of the house. <laughs> and he poops like three times on our walk, all the time. He's just like a poop machine. He's so excited. 